is Dr. Donna. Welcome to week 40. Last week we read Teacher Man and then we watched the TED Talk Inside the Mind of a Master Procrastinator. Teacher Man, this was a book about a teacher who taught in the New York school system from the 1950s for 30 years. What's amazing is he taught at the high school and the junior college level. And he found that teaching is teaching. And no matter what the students are, you kind of have to deal with certain circumstances in the classroom. What I thought about was my time in the military, my time at Frito-Lay, and then my time in small business. When you're working with staff, and the key thing is that they outnumber you. Even in your family, if you have more than two kids, they outnumber you. What do you do when you're outnumbered? How do you influence people and get their buy-in to get the information that you're wanting to give to them so they can use it and apply it and have a better life? And unfortunately for Frank, Mr. Frank McCourt, he was an English teacher. There's not a lot of us out there that like English, so he had an upward battle. What I enjoyed most about the book was his transparency and his ability to admit he wasn't really a tough guy, he wasn't really a tough, hard-nosed teacher, and although he wanted to be like that, every time he tried, it didn't work. How many times have you tried to do something and not be yourself and it doesn't work? You have to be you. Now me, I might be a little hard nose every now and then. I've been known to, you know, act a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But if that's not your style and that's not your method, you have to be who you are. You really do. And then you're going to get the results that you want. He actually started teaching and doing different things. He took kids to the park, to the movies. They had potlucks and sang songs to recipes instead of looking at and listening to regular poetry. And it worked. And after 30 years, he finally decided to retire. And at some point he wrote the book that we were all able to experience. So what am I telling you? What I'm saying is this book said, be you. Experience life. Don't try to be something that you're not. He actually participated in a PhD program because his wife told him to, and it's not what he wanted to do. He simply wanted to teach high school English, and that's what he did. So you need to do exactly what you want to do. Doesn't matter what everybody else said. If you're sitting somewhere in a job, in a business, in a career, in a relationship, in a life, because someone suggested it to you and they're nowhere around to support your decision that they helped you make, they can kick rocks and you can go make a new decision. What I liked about this week's TED Talk was that he kept it simple. He allowed me to get into the mind of a master procrastinator and I was totally unaware that people have a rational mind and then they have this monkey mind and that's the instant gratification. You ever decide that you're gonna do something and all of a sudden your instant gratification says, yeah, but first let's watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Wait, let's go to the arcade. Let's take 17 naps in 17 days and on and on and on and on and on. And then you look up and then you have your deadline. You're like, oh my God, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And then a panic monster shows up and the instant gratification monkey is definitely, definitely, definitely afraid of the panic monster. The panic monster says, get out of the way, instant gratification monkey. Then he says, get out of the way, monkey. And the monkey goes, no, 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 no. And he runs up the tree and then your rational mind is able to take over and allow you to finish your project just in the nick of time. But that's short term because it all has a deadline. It's deadline specific. The problem is the remorse and the guilt that people are walking around with is from those long-term procrastinations, those things that don't have a deadline. You know, like, I'm gonna quit this job. I'm gonna get out of this relationship. I'm gonna lose these 50 pounds. I'm gonna start that business. I'm going back to school. Sure, I'm gonna take that trip to Paris. I could sit and have some coffee and look at the French people walking down the street in their amazing outfits. You know, all those things that don't have an end date or a deadline. That's what's really got your energy down. That's what's really got you feeling a little less than stellar. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that you need to work on. And so what he suggests is, and what I'm suggesting to you, is that you go back in your mind and you go back in time and you think of all those things that you said you were going to do that nobody else knows about. You start bit by bit working on those things, and I guarantee you're going to feel a lot better. Finishing out the fish series, and we have fish tails. How cool is that? And the TED Talk for this week is a simple way to break a bad habit. How cool is that? For those of you who are just now joining us this week, that link below, that's it specially for you because I want you to be better than average. I want you to read more than one nonfiction book. For the rest of us, kudos to you. We are at week 
40. Oh, isn't that amazing? It's so super cool. And as I always like to leave you with one great statement, when you can see it and you can read it, then you can believe it and you certainly can achieve it. From here to the galaxy. I'll see you guys next week. Au revoir.